Hey guys, what's up? This is Blender 3D Animator, and today's tutorial isn't on Blender. Um, today's tutorial is actually a simple tutorial on how to make graffiti in Microsoft Paint. So if you don't know how to get there, which most people do, all programs, accessories, and then click on Paint. And we're just going to be creating a simple graffiti in paint today. Now, I'm going to explain to you something about graffiti. Everybody has their own different style that gets adapt that um, you adapt to. And pretty much after watching a bunch of, say, tutorials and stuff, you're going to, um, hold on a sec, hold on a second. You're going to, I'm sorry, you're going to adapt your own style and pretty much be able to do your own style. So, I haven't been doing this very long. I just know some simple techniques that I'm going to pass on to you guys. So, let's get started. So, first you want to pick a, 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 a small word that you, that you know. So, I'm going to think of one for a second. Let's do... Um, I don't know, let's just do, um, whatever you want, let's just do tube, yeah, alright, so, just pretty much adapt to your own style, so, you want to take, um, a black line, and at its, at its thickest, and just kind of, Now, after you get your your letter outlined, you're going to erase certain parts of it that you know aren't going to fit in correctly, like this, and this, because that makes it look like an eye. Then you just cut that off and reconnect. So, T... Look at a U. There's a U. And, sorry I wasn't talking, but you don't need much, you just kind of follow your own little style, and you just add a capital E. And after you have your words, what you can do is go through and just erase little sections where you want an arrow to come out of. So, then you make an arrow. Like that. Here. Come one out of here.
like that and so like that. Now you're gonna add your three to your lines to make it three D. So just add your lines for your perspectiveness coming out. You can just estimate the lengths for most of them. You're eventually going to have spots that are just going to be, uh, just, um, solid black, so. That'll be solid black, I guess. Once again, not much to talk about, it's just your basic stuff. I'm just going through and double checking everything so that I know what is going to be black and what's not. So once again, you just add your own little touches, even with your 3D, you just, once again, your own little styles. and then it comes out nice. Always meet with your own style. So, I'm just going to start connecting this up like this. Connect that to that. It's all connected. And I'm just going to start filling stuff in just to show you guys. Now all your 3D parts are going to be black. I mean all your 3D parts. <laughs> like that. And then you still have your... Whoops. Just that. You fill all that in with black. And after you do that, you can zoom in like this, and you take a, a relatively thin line, probably about a second, and you pick a color, say blue. And you just run some lines across your words like this, okay? Scroll sideways, and chop one down across. After you have that, you zoom out, and we missed this. And you separate your stuff into two separate colors. And you usually alternate. And then you kind of pick another color that would go decent with it. Like that. For an example. And that would be black. And then you would add um, what kind of looks like paint dripping. So dripping into each one. Like this. And add your dots. And then you go around and take a, a filled in circle like this and pick a color. Let's just say I picked green. You go around and you just add some circles and have some stick out of each other like this. And then you'll connect it all with an outline like this so then you'll take a line like this a line, Jesus you kind of go like that and depending on what thickness you take you go like that go like that go like that and let's just cut that off and now I can show you after we fill this in green that's the effect that you'll have some like circles sticking out and you just keep it 